do you think they are going to make a Harley and Ivy movie? Oh my God, I, I. Now that's not, now that's something I've been wanting to see for the longest time. In fact, um, the movie I, I've been wanting to see is actually the uh, the uh, Gotham City Sirens, like the Harley. Ivy and Catwoman movie, the trio. I would love to see that movie happen. In fact, it was supposed to happen. Instead of Birds of Prey, it was it was supposed to be uh, the Gotham City Sirens. That that was the original plan, but it got cut. It got it got. You know, they just cut it. Like a lot of like Warner Brothers tend to do, they cut off all, whatever plans they had, movie plans, and just cut it off. Any concepts they had, they just Put, put it on the back shelf or whatever. I don't know what what happened. But, yeah, we were supposed to get a Gotham City Sirens. I don't know when. But, um, maybe, hell, it could have happened last year. Instead of the Birds of Prey, we could have gotten the Gotham City, City Sirens. I was hyped for that. I really was. You know, seeing my, my three favorite girls, you know, in a film together, that would have been so awesome. That would you know you realize how much money they would have made because because here's the thing it's not just see the thing was with Warner Brothers they wouldn't have just like had to rely on just Harley for the movie to, to sell to, to sell tickets you got you got art you got Ivy and Catwoman two mega popular Batman villains on their own right two mega popular characters in their own right with their huge fan base the movie would have sold see you you would you would have asses and seats and within the first day man how much money they could have made for off that movie would have been crazy but instead they just went with the birds of prey which i i would for the i i did enjoy the movie i enjoyed it a lot more than what i i thought i would but honestly it would have been so much better I can't help but feel like what? What if we we had gotten the Gotham, gotten the movie that we were supposed to have, the Gotham City Sirens? I mean, for all we know, it could still happen. Um, Margot Robbie herself has been like, uh, she she revealed in their like interviews that she she been wanting the, uh, a, a film with her and Ivy together because she she's she's like one of the biggest Harley and Ivy shippers, you know, you know what I'm saying? So there's that. But unfortunately. The thing is, we don't know uh, the 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 direction that DC is going right now. Where we're is kind of it's kind of muddy. We don't know what they're gonna plan on doing. The uh, so the question of whether or not they're even gonna continue continue with the with the universe, the continuity that they've been building up to ever since what Man is Steel. We don't know if they're gonna continue with more movies with these same actors. And, you know, we, we don't, for all we know, this could be like the last time we see Margot Robbie as Harley. I hope not. Oh, God, I hope not. You know, but but we know, you know, if, if, you know, people have been pegging for a sequel to the uh, Justice League movie, Zack Snyder's version, of course. But I don't know if, if Warner Brothers is smart, they'd actually listen to the fans and go along and, can, and continue with the universe that they've been building up, they spent a lot of time for on, you know what I'm saying? Initially, it was just, it was just, they built this whole universe initially just to compete with Marvel, let's be real here, you know, because, 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 they saw how successful Marvel Studios was making with those movies, so they, they want to capitalize on that, on that whole, on that whole build, you know, that type of thing, 